Hey guys, Crips here. Uh, today I have a, a little update with the Discord Autotyper. So what I've added is a save and load button and also a little information menu. So how this works is you, you'll have a TXT file in your, your folder and in there is going to be all your informations. Uh, so as you can see how you're doing, so it's one second, not randomized. And this one is, uh, hey, I'm sorry, I'm back, I'm back, sorry. So between two and five minutes, I could also add another message manually. So manually set mess message. So I would say like one sec zero. So this is going to be added. So if I load, as you can see, it's not here, but if I save the file, it's, it's now here. So you can, you can change it right inside the TXT or you can change it inside the folder. Um, Let's say I, I press add a new message and I say a a a one sec do not randomize save and I do save so it says that it's saved but I, I can't see it because I need to open it back up and now as you can see a a a one sec zero is now appeared so it also saves your where to type so you don't have to reclick it every time so let's do start auto typer and as you can see at the top you've got a new information screen where it says the time that it's been running the repeat yes or no messages sent so how many message have you sent and the time before the next message this is really cool because before that like for example you would you would put a message in between like 10 minutes and 30 minutes well you you don't know if the script is bugged like if it, it it's frozen or if it's just like 28 minutes and you're going to wait a long time until you see that message appear but with this you know exactly when your script is going to call so if for example you see 140 second, huh? I can. Uh, you can use your mouse. Like you can go on on stuff. You could go on Google. You could you could do your stuff, and then you see okay, it's 10 seconds. You go back to your disk. You open back your Discord, and then you just wait till it until it it does its thing. So uh, you also see there's an escape to stop script and F1 to pause script. Uh, the F1 is not working because it it will trigger after the next message. So because I, I pressed F1, it's going to trigger only in 100 seconds. Uh, like I, I could press Escape, open it back up, okay, load, and I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna press F1. So I pressed F1. So right after the second message, where where I, I did it. It just returned here, so you don't have to reopen it again and ask it to close. So this is pretty much uh, what I've what I've done in the last couple of weeks. Um, the version is going to be available on Discord for twenty dollar USD. Uh, all the informations are in here. But if you don't want to pay and you only want it uh, for free, it is available in free download links. The only thing is there's going to be no save button, low button, and no information screen. Thank you guys. Uh, have some fun.